As the investigation into General Motors' nearly decade-long delay in issuing a recall for a faulty ignition switch heats up, questions mount whether the government safety watchdog ignored complaints. Laura Christian did her own investigation and offered her findings to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, after her daughter Amber Rose was killed in a Chevrolet Cobalt. I contacted NHTSA multiple times, and I didn't just call the call center. Uh, they, they informed me that they were not interested in what I had. Other customers also alerted NHTSA. The response, a trend couldn't be established. There would be no investigation. But an Associated Press review of those complaints tells a different story. We found uh, significantly more stalling complaints uh, on the Cobalt compared to the top five uh, it's five top-selling small cars from 2005 to 2007. Those are the years that, that the recall took place. Uh, with the exception of the Toyota Corolla, it had more complaints. But there were fewer Cobalts on the road compared to Corollas, so the number of Cobalt complaints was higher on a percentage basis. And while Nitzer recalled the Corolla, the Cobalts continued to roll, despite the deadly flaw. The car would stall, airbags would not deploy in an accident if the ignition switch went off, which is what happened to 16-year-old Amber Rose. Eleven other deaths have been linked to the faulty switch. The airbag should always be powered while the vehicle is in motion, regardless of whether the engine is on or the ignition is on, because it's there to save your life. Christian continues to work toward holding GM and NHTSA accountable and started a Facebook group called GM Recall Survivors. But what I've come to understand is that GM only listens to people when it affects their bottom line. So that being said, we have to have this affect their bottom line so that they don't ever do this again. U.S. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox has asked for an internal investigation into the issue. GM CEO Mary Barra is tasked with explaining the company's response to Congress starting April 1st. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.